Le râle gris californien est une sous-espèce du râle gris. Il se nourrit principalement de vers de terre, d'insectes, de mollusques ou encore des escargots et vit dans les marais salés. Malheureusement, aujourd'hui, c'est une espèce menacée. Dans ce documentaire, nous allons tout d'abord analyser les conséquences que la ruée vers l'or en Californie de 1849 ont entraîné sur le râle gris. Nous allons ensuite analyser les raisons pour son retour récent dans la baie de San Francisco. Puis, nous verrons s'il a un futur dans la baie. It started with uh, with the gold rush. It started with uh, a sudden influx of people into California. Uh, the the population of the state, you know, uh, increased a hundredfold or more within a few years. It was uh, basically the population of California went from a few thousand people to hundreds of thousands of people. They needed food, and they turned to the rail, which at that time was uh, everywhere because marshes were everywhere. And so it was just a matter of them being exploited as a food source, and in this case, overexploited. Clapper rails were being shot every day in the San Francisco Bay Area. Currently, though, their population is estimated at only about 3,000, and a lot of that is tied to the destruction of their habitat. The, the reason for their decline is, is uh, there's two sides to it. One is that people were killing them for food, and the other is that we were at the same time destroying their habitat so that their population couldn't replenish itself. Well, a number of things have been done. For one thing, it was listed as endangered, which means that you know they're they're protected by law from being hunted. Their habitat also, in, in many ways, is um, it's becoming a sort of uh, it's been brought to the attention of of uh, the government and you know people who own land who want to develop land along the bay that salt marsh habitat is important. There is currently a project a project that's been in the works for many years. It's uh, a place called Bear Island in Redwood City that a developer has wanted for years to turn into housing, schools, commercial. Um, they want to basically build another foster city on the bay by converting what is uh, currently, you know, there. it's a lot of old um, salt ponds, but there's also edges of marsh where clapper rails live. And the fact that clapper rails are, in, are endangered and live there is what's giving environmentalists sort of the ammunition to fight to protect that area instead of it just being something like oh I'm gonna build a a development out here on the bay and and you know the the local government for the city just says okay we'll do it you know it's gonna bring in tax money and it's gonna you know create jobs or whatever it, instead it's like wait a minute there's things that live there that are rare and and possibly you know could go extinct if we continue to develop these places and so you know, it's it's becoming uh, it's becoming more fashionable to want to save habitat like like salt marshes. It's becoming a popular thing. It's not just kind of like you're an extremist if you if you say no, don't you know, don't convert the marshlands into something else. It's it's the right thing to do, and and it's uh, more people are becoming aware of it.
It definitely has a future. I think that as long as we, you know, slow down or stop the rate of destruction of salt marshes and continue to restore them the way that we have with a number of projects that are taking place around the Bay Area, I think there's, there's no reason not to um, expect their numbers to increase, uh, continue to be stable, and, uh, you know, for us to be able to see more and more clapper rails. They just finished a uh, restoration project in uh, Yosemite Slough near Candlestick, and I think as that um, area develops and uh, as the plant life there matures, there's no reason not to think that clapper rails don't move in there and, uh, and continue to nest there, and so that, you know, in a few years we may have several pairs. And, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a possibility. I think that if we continue to do what we're doing now, clapper rails are, will, will stick around. Come on. 